The first and most important key for the Tigers should be making sure Jaden Daniels is protected and stays healthy in this game. Daniels suffered a concussion in last week's loss to Alabama and was cleared from concussion protocol on Thursday. But Daniels has been known for taking unnecessary big hits, so the offensive line is going to need to make sure they are on top of their game and keep Daniels upright. And Jaden is going to have to look to slide more to ensure that he is able to finish this week's game and leave healthy. Aside from the health of QB1, one of the biggest concerns after last week's game and throughout the whole season has been the performance of the Tigers' defense as they seemed they couldn't even stop a nosebleed last week. The Tigers look like they turned a page after they pitched a shutout against Army, but everything has fallen apart since. The Gators come in with a very intricate offense that can cause the Bayou Bengals some issues if they aren't on their toes for the full 60 minutes. Uh, they got great players, so um, you know, just managing all that, making sure our eye discipline is correct, and I think that's, that's one of the biggest things going into this game is um, eye discipline and just handling all the uh, motions and shifts and, um, you know, different types of like eye candy plays that they have and stuff like that. One of the many things that have been questioned about this week is what is playing as that motivation factor as LSU has basically been eliminated from the college playoff picture and Jane Daniels may have lost his Heisman hopes. Even though the season will not end the way the team won it, they still believe there will be motivation in this game. To play for it. And um, it's another step towards, you know, building the foundation of, of this football program towards consistency and performance.